Hey guys, welcome back to Carry On K. And so I'm making this video because I just was making a previous video and literally it just spun out into a different topic. So I just decided like, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a whole video on this topic because I don't want anybody to be asking me no questions that I should have provided answers to. So basically, this is going to be the story about how I met my husband, because I'm going to be talking a little bit about relationships. OK, so in this story, you will learn a lot. So just pay attention. And it's just talking right now. I'm only going to be talking about the beginning phases of our relationship. So how did we meet? OK, so me and my husband have been together for about 13 years. And so we met a long time ago, like a oh, long time ago, period. And so what happened? So, so this was around the time, um, and it's, it's weird thing. Cause today I would say, Hey, it probably was destined for us to be together. And sometimes I have like that moment where I'm like, uh, I be giving him the side eye, like, bruh. Like, you getting on my nerves right now. And literally, we have had trials, okay? But I believe trials are necessary for refinement, um, for your being, your relationship, for the other person, um, for, for your spiritual growth, for many different things. So trials and tribulations are going to come. Are you going to get past it? Are you going to grow? Are you going to move forward? Um, but yes. So we've been together for such a long time. And so um, how we met was um, I was going, I was in college. Um, I was at Miami Day College in Miami, Florida. And so I remember specifically I was walking to like the student center and um, I don't know if I was going to like pre-cal or something, but, or if I was coming back from like oceanography class or something, but I, or, actually, no, I think I was coming back from, I was taking like a social class. I was really taking a social class. Okay. Yeah. Cause I remember this cause this was how I got some credits. Okay. Yeah. And, um, I was just walking and on the wall on one of the glasses near the bookstore, it was like a big poster that was like, Hey, Disney internship, sign up, um, come to the informational, um, at this location, um, in the auditorium. And it was like that day at like four or something. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to be down here because I have another class at like 6 p.m. or something. Um, so let me just go and sit and see what it's all about. Ooh, Disney. And it said paid. So I was like, dang, they paying you? Let me find out what this is about. Because back then, I was all about my money. Like, I was already a manager um, at a fast food restaurant, but I was a manager on South Beach. Like, I was like fraternizing with like celebrities like I, I used to have a good time like that was just me so um I decided hey let me go to this informational so I go to the informational they basically tell us how I go you know about housing and you get paid and um the type of positions they have I was like okay hey you know this sounds interesting I'm a pretty adventurous person I like to try new things um I really am like a free spirit like I like to do things like that so I was like okay let me go ahead and apply so I applied and I was I told them specifically like I would like to be a fairy godmother I love kids like I love makeup I love beauty so that's something I would definitely be interested in maybe like a couple weeks later I received my packet I was accepted they casted me as a fairy godmother they told me um when I need to be there whatever. So, um, I signed up for my classes that was related to the internship and I was off. I arrived there and everything went smoothly. And then I got a roommate and her name was Karima. Um, shout out to you, Karima. She all the way out in Philly. Um, and so she was my roommate 
And so she used to, well, she had a thing for this guy, um, Perez. Yes. And um, she, I guess one day some things happened and we ended up having to go over there to where he was at because I think she cooked him some food or something and she wanted her bowl. So long story short, um, these are complexes are gated. So there's three complexes for um, interns. So in order to enter one of the complexes, since it was after 9 p.m., you actually had to get signed in. So because we need to get signed in, I, I really was just there with her. I really didn't have nothing to do with it, you know, but sh she ran up on um, my husband and like um, his friends or whatever. And one of the girls was there um, that was her friend. And she was like, hey, you know, can y'all sign um, us in, you know? Um, and so I seen, you know, my husband, at the, I was like, you know, I really wasn't paying attention to what she was doing. I was just like, oh, look at this guy. You know, who is this guy? You know, and I didn't realize he was with the people that she was talking to. And so I was like, oh, you cute. Like, oh, you cute. Like, look at you. And I'm over here thinking like, oh, he look, he look like mm, he from Compton or something. He look like he from California. Like he had his flannel on. He had like, he was looking like, you know, somebody there, you know, because, you know, and I related to, like, California only because he was, like, dressed like how I would see, like, Snoop Dogg dress or, like, um, Dr. Dre. It wasn't really hood, um, but he had, like, those flannel shirts on. And it was black and white or plaid or whatever, whatever they call them. And I was like, oh, okay, I see you out here. But real talk, like, bruh, why is you in Orlando with... <laughs> this hot ass shirt <laughs> long sleeve and shit but i'm sorry guys excuse my french you know back in the days that probably was my thought process i kind of be a little clean with language but because i'm going back the language is going back with me in time so um it was what it was whatever and so homegirl and let me not say homegirl but the girl that signed us in or no the, the girl that my roommate was talking to because my husband um, ended up signing us in. Um, when she heard me say to him, like, ooh, you cute. She literally walked up to me. She was like, oh, yeah, that's my boyfriend. And I was like, oh, shoot, my bad, girl. I ain't even know that. Like, my bad. Hold up. I don't operate like that. Like, if that's your man, <laughs> I don't want your man. Like, I literally, like, I, that's something I'm, like, fully against. Of. I'm against, um... Like, if that person taken, that person taken, like, it's just different. Like, you just got to respect the rule. Like, there's so many fishes in the sea. Like, there's no reason for you to have to go after somebody who's in a relationship. It's just so petty. You know, it is. Depending on, it, it's really petty. So, um, so what happens? So, so he signs us in. And so we end up at his apartment. And um, I'm sitting on the table, but, you know, he's there, whatever. We really haven't con conversed because um, the whole time Kareem is talking, whatever. But I'm sitting at the apartment because I've been to that apartment before because um, one of his roommates tried to talk to me. And I wasn't really feeling his roommate. And at that time, it's so crazy that everybody that's, that was around him, literally, they tried to talk to me. And I was just like... I'm not here for that. I'm really focused on myself. And not only that, I don't think none of them really was up to par. One of the guys was like, hey, uh, I, I go to Duke. I'm on the basketball team. And I'm like, boy, you a whole liar. Okay, I pulled up that roster. Ugh, get out of my face. The other guy was like, um, I'm from New Jersey. Really buff guy, but he seemed kind of slow. Um, there was a, well, yeah, that's him. And, um, and at that time, literally there was like three to four different Johns trying to talk to me. So that's how I know, like the enemy kind of hindsight, you know, the enemy was at play 
because he really was trying to confuse um, what was taking place. Um, so I was sitting on a table because I've been to this apartment before and literally like it's a carefree um, environment. And this girl came through like, um, girl, oh, excuse me, girl, you need to get off the table. And I'm looking at her like, shorty, hold up. Like, she don't know me like that. And number two, that's not your apartment to be telling me to get off the table. Like, the people who apartment this is, they ain't even tell me to get off the table. So how is you going to come through trying to talk to me, tell me get off the table? But you know what? If you don't move, boo-boo. So I had already felt like I was getting heated. So... I was like, you know what, Karima, we got to go because I'm about to turn up and I ain't trying to turn up and get kicked out. So literally, like, I started to walk out the room. Oh, well, I walked out the apartment and I stood in front of the apartment door and I was like, damn, homeboy ain't finna come outside and ask me for my number? What's up with that? And I'm like, Karima, but like, he ain't get my number. And I'm not used to that. Uh -uh. I know, like, I'm very beautiful. And I'm like, a whole, you know? So I was like, damn, he didn't even come out and get my number. What's up with that? And so I waited like a minute, two minutes. And then finally the door opened and he was like, oh, hey. Actually, we didn't wait two minutes. It probably was like a minute because two minutes is kind of creepish. So he really came out like immediately. And he was like, oh, yeah, what's your number? Whatever. So I gave him my number, whatever. And then so we went back to our apartment. And so... We was at the apartment and homegirl, Kareem homegirl, gonna call her talking about, oh, this, that, and that about me, how she gonna sit on the table, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, Karima, put the girl on the phone, like, give me the phone. And I was like, homegirl, like, you got something to say, like, let me roll back outside, come outside, we, you know, we can handle this. And, like, I'm, t I'm telling you guys this story because back in, back in the days, like, that really was my vibe. Like, I was carefree, like, you know, but I also was a hothead. I was a hothead. Like, literally, like, you try me, it's on and popping. You know, like, it just is what it is. Like, whatever. So, I switched some clothes, and I put on some tights. I threw on a white tee. I threw on my sneakers, and I was like, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. So I pulled up to the front of the apartment, and I'm looking, and here he is coming again. And I, I'm not even paying attention because I'm like, Kareem, call her, tell her coming downstairs right now. And he was like, oh, my God, he's coming from, like, 7-Eleven. He's like, what's the problem? And I was like, yo, that girl over there, she is, da 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 da, da. Like, yes, it's on and popping. Um, So... He was like, oh, don't mind, blah, blah, blah. Ugh, whatever. No, nah, not necessary. So that's kind of the story of how we met. Like, it was so crazy. Like, but then after that, we went out on our first date. And literally, it was like. Ugh, okay. I don't know why I even continued the date from that very moment. Like, it was supposed to happen. Um, it had to have been, like... It had to have been God, honestly. And so we did go on... Um, we went to go see um, Bruno... Um, at the movies and I was already so pissed because that girl literally followed us to the movies and I'm like yo John like why is homegirl stalking like that's so weird and so she came to the movies with us and I was just like first of all I take forever to get ready you know and so we did miss our first time to the movies and then but when it was time for us to go to movies, uh, our program has uh, shuttle buses. So the shuttle buses take us everywhere we need to go. So there was no need actually for vehicles, but if you had a vehicle, that was fine. But we did take the shuttle bus. And so um, 
we took the shuttle bus to the movies at Downtown Disney. And I was like, yo, John, like, why is these people following you? Like, that didn't make no sense, you know? And I'm like, yo, they your friends. They need to respect your space. They don't respect your space. And I and so, me, I was like, oh, no, nah, the dude messed up. Like, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm not feeling the vibes. So we got, we got to the movies, and I was like, bro, don't pay for my stuff. I pay for all my stuff. You know, I don't, you know, cause I'm just setting standards. Like, bro, I'm just gonna let you know. Like, I don't need you. You know, in beginning, and like, and honestly, at that time. I did feel that. And so you should never be dating somebody and feel like um, you need them. And if you do feel like you need them, then you need to go ahead and not date that person and go ahead and talk to your manufacturer. And that's God. Go talk to God because there's something wrong with you that you feel like you need that other person. Um, so um, we watched the movie. It was a hot mess. Okay. I ended up taking a taxi back home we ended up taking a taxi back home because um, our shuttle bus was actually taking too long and I didn't want to see those people anymore you know so um that was our first date like that was just like ugh, you know and then after that um maybe like a week later I was sick he was sick and this was the um the error of what was the error? The error of swine flu. So I don't think we had the swine flu. I just think we were sick with the cold. And all I know is like we was at work because we worked in the same location. And um, Magic Kingdom, you know. And he was like, hey, you know, what time's your lunch? I'll meet you at lunch, blah, blah, blah. So at lunch, he met me and dude brought me a whole bag of medicine and yo, that stole my heart. I was like, oh, and I was like, well, he bought me the medicine. I was like, oh, okay. You know, I'll give him another try. I'll give him another try. So, cause I really wasn't. And then, so we ended up going on another date to, um, and she sleep. We ended up going on another date to Bongo's. Yo, this entire day, he talked and talked. And talk like I felt like I did not get a word in, but it was good because I got to learn so much about him and kind of who he is as a person. And I was like, oh, this is a good guy. He was making a very good impression. So I knew like I could kind of work with it, you know, um, eventually um, I started, you know, I asked him questions about his goals and things that. Um, he had planned and things that I had planned, you know, and during that time I was like, does he align with my vision? Does he align with what I, um, where I see myself in the future? And I was like, he does. I can see this. I can see this working. And so I was like, okay, I can, I can, I can work with this. And then, you know, his belief. Um, he was Catholic at the time and I grew up like a little Catholic. So, um, I was just like, okay, it's still Jesus. Okay. So we can work with that too. So I, I didn't really have a problem with that. Um, so everything had aligned, everything had said, okay. Um, now let's take a look. Um, should I have... There were some red flags. So those red flags, I would say, really were slow down, stop, hold on, breaks. It doesn't necessarily mean that's not the person. I just think it meant like, slow down. You guys still need to work on some things individually. You guys still need to develop certain aspects of y'all person um, before you guys move forward. But we had gotten so um, close um, that it became like for us um, 
just a friendship that when it was time to leave, that developed into like, oh my God, you're leaving. I'm leaving. Like, how are we going to do this? And before we separated, that's kind of how we were like, okay, you know what? Why don't we, you be my boyfriend and I be your girlfriend and let's see what happens um, long distance. And that's kind of like the beginning of our love story. Um, I know it's so much to take. I probably talked for like a whole 20 something minutes, but that is our love story. So um, those of you who have questions, um, comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Um, let me know if you want to know um, if you have any questions about the red flags that I did see. Um, I'll probably talk about things that I would have done differently in another video. Um, well, not necessarily things. What well, is it things? Well, I just told you guys I would have slowed down. I really would have slowed down. Um, because at that time, I wasn't desperate. Um, for love, I was really focused on myself. Um, and I always say, like, when you're not focused on it, I believe that's the time it will present itself to you because you're working on yourself and you've reached a point of um, where you're open to receiving it. Unless um, the enemy sometimes could use it to stop you from focusing on yourself. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, comment, leave it down below. I'll go ahead and address that. Um, if you need any, um, if you have any questions about what I was doing at that time, I'll go ahead and tell you um, in another video. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and carry on with my life. Okay. And you do the same. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Love you guys. Bye.